Hello, hello friends around the world. So, um, you might be noticing that I look a little bit, a little bit, I'm looking at myself in, not the camera, but in the screen here on my phone. So, if I look over here, that's you. But if I look over here, that's me. I don't really want to look at me. So, I'm going to look at the sunset. This is beautiful, beautiful. Look at this. Let me just turn this around here. Take a look at this. Look at that. And here's Costco over here. So, I'm here in Kailua, Kona. And, um... You know, I, I've been thinking, there's a lot of things I've been thinking about lately, and uh, wow, my sweet sister in um, I mean, yes, yeah, sister, sister-in-law, um, and my sweet daughter-in-law, wow, I'm getting all these messages, thank you so much, guys, I love you too. Um, I really appreciate my, uh, my son and his wife, Jamie, my daughter-in-law, I miss the little guy, my grandson so much, I can't wait to go over there and see him. I feel like I've been missing out on some precious, precious years, but I'm hoping they'll come over here. So, I, let's see, I'm looking at the screen here. I'm looking at the camera. I think I'm just going to look at the at the sunset and just talk, and then I'm going to post this video. So, as you know, my crazy video where I was talking in the screen was a social experiment. This right here is a social experiment in, in a way. I've been really, really busy, and I haven't had a chance to shave it's uh, Friday night Sabbath is, is here now it just is just arrived so um, I'm here alone on this big island uh, don't really have too many friends um, I don't really consider a person a friend unless they invite me over to their house and open the door and uh, say help yourself to my to my home and everything but uh, they're an acquaintance someone I know I mean they're my I'm their friend okay they're they're my acquaintance i know them so I, I i don't know you know we say things as humans we we tend to say things that um we just say them you know do they really make sense are they true and i'm sorry i i probably have said a lot of things that aren't true and you know and i'm i'm looking into my heart i, I can tell you let me start out the video by saying this As far as how I feel about myself inside, am I a good person? Do I think that I'm really special? I know that I am because God died for me. But honestly, I feel like I am the worst, most insignificant nothing on the planet. Seven billion people. I know Jesus died for me. And he, he died for you too. You know... I read something once that the more uh, our characters develop like Christ or the closer we get to a character like Jesus, the worse we're going to think about ourselves. And it's true. I mean, but then my mind is playing flip-flops like I think so bad of myself. And does that mean I'm like Jesus? No, I don't, I, I'm not like Jesus. I want to be like Jesus. I am struggling so hard to be like Jesus. Literally, some days I think I would gladly just love to die because of my effort to be like Jesus. And it, it's so hard. Um, sometimes it's... I'm not going out drinking. I'm, I've never done drugs or drank or um, pick it up on women or or that sort of things. We, we all have our struggles that we deal with in life. And one of my struggles is just accepting people for who they are when they are out to attack and destroy my life. And sometimes it's because they're jealous. Sometimes it's just because I'm not their personality type. Uh, and human nature is such that if if people aren't in our category if they don't act like us if they're not bubbly happy smiling and jokey all the time you know there's the pessimist there's the optimist the difference is god made us different but some people don't understand they can't comprehend that it's okay to be different and there's so many things that young people do to get attention. And you know, um, 
I'm doing some social experiments. There's things that I think, listen to me very carefully on this. There's things that I really think, and I think, okay, so if I wear a necktie and I wear a white shirt and I look like a, a missionary or a Mormon, or if I, if I look a certain way, and if I had a lot of money in the bank, and I, if I, I guarantee you if I gave the church locally here where I was working, if I handed them a, a $500 bill or $500 or 1000 they would really, really think differently of me than they do now promise you it's just the way it is i mean people if they do that to me sadly and that's one of my sins i think differently but i don't want to think differently i don't care if someone gives me a penny or a million dollars i want to think the same of them i want to think about their heart and what they are thinking in their heart um so i know that I, i'm tired i'm exhausted i feel like i'm a sinner but i i did a little social experiment to to just you know, scream and yell and act, act excited into the camera and see what happened and if people would think I was crazy. Interestingly, some people said, oh, you're going to be get lots of negative comments and, and you're going to, you know, that's going to hurt your influence. You know what's interesting? <laughs> wow. I've gotten nothing. There's only one person that has, has even slightly said something negative. 100% of everybody, unless there's comments that I haven't seen somewhere, which I would like to see, um, please bring them to my attention. But, you know, I I'm trying to, a social experiment is to find out what gets the young people's attention. I'm targeting young people. I want to get their attention. I want to save their life. Their, I want to help them bring back joy in their life, you know, and the internet and YouTube, there's so much of a push to be extremely over the top, like crazy. Is there something wrong with being now crazy? The word, uh, my, my daughter-in-law told me recently that young people are throwing out words like hate and love and awesome. Like just throwing those words around so much that they don't really mean the same anymore. You know what? That has helped me a lot. I really appreciate her saying that and telling me that because I was pretty upset at someone recently until she, my daughter-in-law told me this and then I realized that the words don't have the same meaning. So I just need to ex ignore and realize they don't have the same meaning. So, you know, um, things are changing in the world and our young people, we need to figure out ways to get their attention. Jesus used parables. There's a guy who um, is wearing these old you know, clothes from G the Bible times, and then he's talking really, really like loud, and it's, it's called drama. It's called acting. He goes on stage in the front of a church, and he wears a robe and a staff, and he, he talks really loud, like, and his eyes are bugging out, and he, um, it's becoming popular. In fact, there's a lot of that going on, these reenactment Bible uh, drama things on the uh, on stages or in the pulpits of our churches and we're experimenting with different ways to get young people's attention so that's why I uh, I put in the end there in my little in my little um, you're awesome you know that video I specifically wanted to look kind of crazy to get the attention because that's outside of my character and I wanted to see if I could get the attention of some of the young people you know what Instantly, I started getting, within seconds of sending that out to a whole bunch of people, I got a whole bunch of responses. In fact, some of the people that I've known, this one guy for so long back in the East Coast, he immediately said, I want to help you. I love you too. In, and he sent me some money. He sent money to ship boxes. Um, another guy, the president of a big medical center, um, head of a conference in, a, in another country, of course, these people messaged me and told me how much they loved me and appreciated me and thanked me for the, the message. And everybody told me that made them smile and laugh. One lady gave $50, another guy gave 20 another person gave 200 I was shocked at the positive response, but there's always going to be somebody who will give nothing and find something critical to say. Anyway, it worked, but I'll end it with this. 
But this is what's important. There's a little child, a cute little sweet little child. And I'm not saying this child is any better than, than other children. For example, my own grandson or my sister's grandkids or these little kids that are in here right now or those kids over there. Children are special. They are precious. They are dependent upon us to be their role models. Do I want to be a crazy negative role model? No. What I'm talking about is there are children in the Philippines right now that need a spark of hope. They need some clothes. Do you have any idea what... We are taught as Americans that wearing rags is okay. But in other countries, the... the, the, the there's, there's a... Uh, you know, a caste society like India, like, I, I don't want to say a pecking, I'm almost saying the wrong words, a pecking order, like horses and stuff like that, you get the top, but, but it is, yeah, I mean, you get this tier, this pyramid, and the better clothes you have, I mean, my wife is from the Philippines, and many of my friends are from the Philippines, and they don't even know that... You're supposed to dry clean clothes. I mean, I brought suits over. I've had three or four suits destroyed and ruined. You know, and I, of course I didn't get upset because they're just doing what they know to do. They take them down to the creek and they wash them and they put soap and water and then they shrink and they're no, no good. And I mean, this is, we're talking $500 suits or more. 25,000 pesos. So, um, they know that something clean, something dressy, these are beautiful clothes. And we give these clothes to these kids and the smile on their face and the joy that they have. Anyway, I, I don't even want to talk about it, but when I think about it, when I have the camera off, I just sit and cry because I love these kids and I want to see them get some clothes. And um, no, if, if my grandson needs clothes, I've got lots of clothes for my grandson too, but I doubt it because we're in the United States of America and... Uh, just clothes are readily available and also we don't have that that emotional need for fancy fancy clothes okay in closing and this is all I'm gonna say I promise it's on 12 minutes I want to make this 15 or less please pray for me I am I'm a sinner please don't look at me please I'm gonna look in the camera please look to Jesus Please do not look at me. Look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. And, you know, a lot of you young people do things that are outside the culture or the ideas or the desires of your parents or other ones, relatives and people within your church or your little social community, whatever it is, uh, your family, extended family, whatnot. You do things for a lot of different reasons. Sometimes it's for reasons to... To just uh, show that you're independent. I don't know. I mean, sometimes it's reasons that I, I talked to one guy one time uh, in, in, in California who said, oh, I just do it because I want to see if my parents will love me even if I don't do what they say. I want to know if, if God loves me and, you know, I, I want to do these things and see if the church loves me and see if the pastor is kind to me. We're supposed to be kind to these people. And I'll tell you, when I don't fit in the mold, um, people treat me differently. It's really interesting. They start noticing and they start pointing the finger and saying, you need to do this differently and you need to do that differently. And I, I appreciate so much um, the love and, and care that people, almost 15 minutes old, that, that people give me in, in counseling me and, and telling me how to live my life and what to do. And that's what I'm about. I, I, I spend my life trying to help people know how to live like a lifestyle, diet that is healthy, conducive to a, a happy and healthy life, life, you know. So I appreciate that. But let us not get confused and look at me. Let's look to Jesus. Look at my heart. Look to my motives. You don't even know my motives. I'm not even sure I know my own motives. All I know is I want to do God's will and I want you to smile. You know, what do I have to do to get you to smile? So I would appreciate if you send that video out and, uh, you know, make it go viral because guess what? I don't really care what people think. All I care about is if it goes viral and I can get a lot of views and I can get that money because I, once I get a lot of views, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, that video.
it's not going to hurt anyone. The only thing it can do is is help a lot of young people. And I don't care what Mark Finley and Doug Batchelor and and uh, Ted Wilson. I, it's not uh, going to bother me if they don't like the video. You know, they're wonderful leaders, and I respect them, and I love them, and I love their ministry. And I think it's great that they always wear a tie and everything. But you know what? I'm I'm working with homeless people. I'm working with the worst of the worst, the worst drug addicts on the street. I'm working with horrible. Uh, I, I've gone over 15 min minutes, but y you have no idea. There's people behind me right now on the streets over here. These people are the lowest people in society. Um, these people are shooting up heroin. They're, they're shooting uh, methamphetamine. In fact, the, the government here is giving away a clean needle if they turn in a dirty needle. They're giving away free needles so that people can do drugs clean. Um, it, it's There are different ways to reach these people. You know, I, it's a ministry that I want to do. It's a burden and a calling on my heart. And uh, I, I've noticed if I'm dressed up fancy, I, I, I can't really have a conversation with these people to a, to a depth that um, I can if I am looking like a bum like them. So, you know, just understand that sometimes I, I'm looking a certain way so I can do a ministry um, connection, friendship ministry, but also, and I'll end it with this, 16 minutes, I'm going to end it with this. I've been here for a couple of months, guess what? Not one single person on the island within our church has offered me um, a place in Kona to, to stay or to, to go. The only people that offer me a place to stay, i um, got a really good friend over on the other side of the island, several of them, but um, the people that are really, really hospitable are the people that live on the streets, that don't have any money. And uh, my friend who has a house with no walls, and he's begging me, please come over, Brother Steve. And, and uh, he, he's so kind, and his wife is so kind, and their the family, they, they put a mosquito net around me, and they treat me so nicely. People with houses, they don't want to be bothered, you know. I don't need a house. I don't want a house. I don't, I'm not asking for a house. I think we're all being tested. Don't you think? Don't you think we're being tested? Uh, because Jesus says in Matthew 25, and I mean, this is throughout the Bible, Isaiah 58, and you know, and, and in our writings and Seventh day Adventist writings like Desire of Ages to the Least of These, My Brethren, that chapter is uh, amplification or basically about Matthew 25 and it says when Jesus comes there's gonna be two classes the lost and the saved and and the saved are gonna be saved because of what they did for Jesus in what the least of these my brethren it says what you do for the least of these you do for me the least of these these are the really really bad people really bad people and uh, in ministry of actually um, yeah ministry of healing our our dear sister Ellen G. White says we are not to speak a word of censure, even a look, not one word, because the poor soul curses himself. You know, I'm not anyone special. I'm nobody. I'm just a nothing. I'm just like the lowest person on this planet as far as I'm concerned. I, I know that people don't respect me. They never have within the church or outside the church. My family loved me. A lot of friends love me. But... If I gave them a lot of money, they'd probably think highly of, more higher of me. I don't, I don't know. Maybe people think different. I don't know what they think. I, I, honestly, I don't care. But I do know that in Ministry of Healing, we're, we're told that we are not to speak a word of censure to these people. A censure word is a word that is scolding them because it says, and she says, continues to say, the poor soul curses themselves. They don't need us telling them they're wrong. They already know it. People know they're wrong. I know I'm wrong. So, um, anyway, I've, uh, invented, I've shared my thoughts, and now it's already almost 20 minutes, five minutes over. It's great to be alive, but please pray for me because I feel the weight of my sins, um, I have been, I'm 47, so I think at this age we, we go through some some very difficult times and I just want to sit on the, the beach somewhere and read my Bible and pray all the time. I, I just, I really want to draw close to God. I really want to know Christ and I want Him living in my heart and, and, and I don't want it to be about what I look like and I don't want it to be about if I wear a necktie or a clean shirt or if I shave or if I, if I look a certain way. I want it to be because... 
I have Christ living in my heart. And when I look at people, the least of these, the bum, the, the worst person, anybody, the worst sinner, when I look at them, they look at me. And when I talk to them, they can see that I love them and I have compassion for them. And I'm willing to lay down my life for them. And I'm willing to give anything that I have out of my car. This isn't even my car, but that I'm willing to do whatever I can do to help them. And I've been searching for these people. And I found a bunch. Every day I find someone and I, I'm able to help them. And, you know, I'm not videoing it because I don't want to, you know, I'm not doing it to get praise or put it on a record. I, I put, what I put on, on video is, is just, you know, stuff that I can try to get views on so I can sell advertisements and, and then uh, use that money to help these people. It's a job. It's, it's what I do for for earning income so I hope you understand that so if you click on these videos uh, several times if you share them it helps me with views and I get um, actually about a thousand views nets me about a dollar and you notice some of these views I get only I don't know 10 20 30 40 views I don't know something like that so it's not very much I might get three or four pennies okay God bless and as we say in Hawaii Aloha and Mahalo